The resume for Louisville is perfect so far. Tori Dilfer, first team All-American wearing number 12 in white on to serve. Best three out of five sets. First play off speed. We talked an awful lot about Dana Retke at six foot eight. How about Anna Smreck at six foot nine, the freshman out of Canada going off speed? We're going to see a lot of that tonight, and it'll be interesting to see where they put she and Deb Robinson hitting in the middle and on the right side as they move them around. Fifth year senior Lauren Barnes playing the Libro. Chasse ripping into the cross court, and even Barnes, number one in the Libero jersey for Wisconsin, could not handle the heat. Well, Chasse gets off the ground so nice, has a lot of springs, but she likes to hit that ball into the seam and into that hard cross court. Aiden Bartlett, defensive specialist, 5'6", sophomore out of Leavenworth, Kansas, coming on. Been really solid in the tournament so far. Has 21 aces on the season, including in the tournament. Very easy serve. And Bartlett is unable to control that. Very nicely done at the offensive end by six foot three senior out of Geneva, Illinois. Grace Loberg wearing number 21 in the red jersey for the Badgers. We'll keep an eye on this serve pass game. We talked about all the balance both for both teams and see who can really handle the ball the best. Wisconsin has really figured out how to divide up this position. Smrett goes to the sideline replaced by a very explosive Jay Demps. Iko Jones, speaking of explosive, down the line registers the kill. Jones, six foot two, redshirt junior out of Kingston, Jamaica, wearing number 15 in white. Jones has tons of range. She can hit that ball down the line, but watch out for her hitting that ball low into that seam and deep into the corner as well. Jones was a second team All American. One of the keys to the success for Louisville after they lost their Libero last year was a superb play of Elena Scott. First stuff of the match, and it's registered by the Louisville Cardinals. Well, Anna Stevenson is one of the most natural blockers that I've seen. You watch her, her hands as she moves along the net and finishes back into the court. It's so impressive watching her block balls. Stevenson, 6'2", grad student, wearing number 11 out of Lauren, South Carolina, began her career at Auburn. Perfect pass in system. Loeber going down the line, and in spite of the dig, a net violation. Let's talk about the Louisville block. Number one in the ACC, number two nationally behind only Maryland. They are not a hugely physical team. What makes them so good in that phase? What makes them so good is how they train blocking. They don't just get there and press straight over like you see a lot of teams do. They play a little bit more and train a little bit more like the men's game, where they're reaching and reaching for the ball, bringing it back into the court wherever they're from, wherever they're on the court. First swing for De Beer, and that gets to the floor. Good sign for Louisville, number 14 in white. There are the blocking numbers, Tillman Stevenson and Ico Jones. 1.2 blocks per set. She's not a middle. You no. can't have three of them. Michael <laughs> Jones plays on the right side. Really dynamic blocker back at the line. Super impressive with how she has improved over there on the right side, just picking up her hitters way better as a blocker. Wisconsin passing right on target. And there's the play out of the backcourt by Jay Demps. Talk about how Wisconsin and their head coach Kelly Sheffield have come up with this front court backcourt combination. Well, it's been something they've been working on since Danielle Hart got injured. And now with Demps playing out of the back row, she plays excellent defense, but she flies in out of the back row. He was saying how high of a percentage she hits out of the pipe, and they love to run it. There is uh, Sydney Hilly. Excuse me, this is Izzy Ashburn back to serve first. One of the most dangerous servers for Wisconsin. And she's a real specialist. That's a break for Louisville to get past Ashburn. Kelly Sheffield now in his ninth year. Fourth semifinal appearance, third in a row. Three straight Big Ten championships, twice the Big Ten Coach of the Year. And speaking of Coach of the Year, Danny Busboom Kelly in her fifth year in Louisville. She has been the ACC Coach of the Year twice. And now she is a National Coach of the Year. What an honor and what a deserved honor. De Beer so far looks pretty good. Wisconsin is passing exceptionally well. That ball off the defense of Alexa Hendricks, the defensive specialist coming in wearing number four. There's Robinson going off on the slide. We talked about the slide of Recky and Schmack. There's a lot of options for Wisconsin running that behind to open things up. Both teams really hot right now in serve receive, and that's led to some really good percentages. Another good pass. 
Chasse, no going right side to Stevenson off the top of the block and down. Louisville has taken four swings. They've been successful on all four. Wisconsin on the other side, five of eight. A magnificent start by two very good offensive teams. So fun to watch them move the ball around. Stevenson hitting that one down the line, but she can also cut that one across her body. Stevenson was number one in the ACC in efficiency at 430. Ace serve. Working against Julia Orzel, the freshman out of Poland. Well, this ball just drops right in front of Orzel. They're going to work this seam, or at least work that half of the court trying to go after Orzel. She can get herself in a little bit of trouble sometimes passing down the line. They're working that seam between Chavita as well. Chavita comes right back. Perfect pass. Wow, Wisconsin in system comes at you like a freight train. They do, and Schmeck so big. As we talked about, they can move either one of those players, Schmeck or Robinson, in front or behind. I think they like having this height in the dead center middle of the court because the middle blockers are so good for Louisville. And also, you see the block for Louisville has to spread and go with Devin Robinson going to the right side so they can get one-on-one. -on -one. The caveat, of course, is if they're tight to the net and in system. Exactly, and that's the key for both teams right now. There is Orzel, averaging uh, three kills per set. She was Big Ten Freshman of the Year. Dilfer for the second time and a very good start for Louisville on top opening set, 8-6 here in Columbus. Good serve down the line. Low bird tight. Oh, and she's roofed. That's the game that Wisconsin does not want to be in. Passing the ball off the net and forced to play the out of system game on the left side. Certainly against a block of that size of Louisville. Wisconsin coming in after having beaten Minnesota, also, of course, out of the Big Ten, three sets to none. Loberg struggled in that matchup, 8 of 26 with four errors. So did Orzel on the outside. Off speed, Scott on that. Boy, that looked like a lift, but not called. Smack out of the middle. Six foot nine freshman with a really good arm. And that's a tough matchup no matter who's on the other side of the, uh, of the net. That doesn't matter if that's, that's Tillman, if that's Stevenson right now. Shrek, big, physical, and can hit at the top of her reach. Here is the Libero Barnes back to serve. Shank pass by Chausse. A little miscommunication between she and DeBeer in the scene. There's always going to be some area of the court that you can expose. They have the numbers. They've, they've been looking at those over the last few days and where they can serve the ball. And that's exactly what they're doing right now towards the passer hitter. Good response. Iko Jones rolling off speed and able to get that ball to the floor. Very nice response by Chasse in reception. Well, held it down, held it together, got a perfect pass there. And, and what they like to run Jones on that two ball in that rotation. And a couple of rotations, they'll just throw it up to her and let her move around the block. Here is Bartlett once again. Right side over the top. You got 6'9 Spreck in the middle and the most dynamic slide hitter in the last five years of college volleyball on the right in Retke. Well, what are you going to do? And that, that makes it so difficult. And then the first team All American setter that can get it to anybody at any time, even if the ball's off the net, she can find her middle attackers and not just become a one dimensional team. Schmreck, a perfect three, three for three. Retke, one for three right now in the service ace. Very nice job by Jay Demp. 6'2 sophomore out of Raleigh, North Carolina. Had a good match against Minnesota to advance to the national semifinals. Seven of 16. Almost all of those coming out of the back row. Dilfer into the middle. Nicely done by Amaya Tillman. She gets her first look. 6'3 junior out of Topeka, Kansas. One of the best blockers in the country. So you'd, you'd be curious to see what this matchup is going to look like with their middles against the big middles of Wisconsin. That's a nice play moving one on one around the block. Here is Scott, 32 aces on the year. The freshman Libro, who was a setter until she transitioned, just like her head coach. Good block touch. The De Beer going into the cross court, dug by Barnes.
A uh, little miscommunication. I'll tell you, Wisconsin did a really good job getting Dilfer to set her on the floor. They did. That starts everything when you get her on the floor. Then there's all that confusion, that third ball coming over. Hard to hear in here. There's a lot of noise and a little bit of miscommunication on that last play. Tied at 11. You notice all of us are wearing masks. There's a mask mandate in Columbus, Ohio. So, of course, we're agreeing and going along with those mandates. Georgia Tavita, 5'6 graduate student out of Milan, Italy. Transferred in from Wichita State, but quite the story. Stevenson out of the middle, dug by Barnes. Michael Jones off the inside hand. Quality contacts on both sides within the rally. Well, I, I like how Louisville's reading the play. They saw Lober go up with that tip, an easy pickup for them to transition. Everyone controlling the ball, like you said. That ball a little bit inside. Recky's right hand not quite over the net. Chavita adjusting her brace. The official's given her a moment. She needs to play with that heavy brace. Torn her right ACL four times, most recently in the fall. And here she is back out playing. Did not undergo surgery. And you want to talk about a tough, tough kid. Out of the back row again. When we spoke with head coach Kelly Sheffield of Wisconsin, he told us that over the last 10 matches, Jade Demps is hitting 600 efficiency out of the back row. So I guess why wouldn't you set her? And he said it took it took some time to get used to it, even for Sydney Hilly to say, OK, I'm I feel comfortable throwing it to her. But now you're going to see it all the time. It puts so much pressure on the ball. Here is Ashburn once again, the defensive specialist, more of a serving specialist out of Dayton, Minnesota. Tip by Dilfer, Ashburn all over that. Good high flat shot by Orzel, the freshman. They were working on that a lot in serve pass today, just repping it over and over again. Hit the hands. Kelly Sheffield said, you know, one day you're going to make a lot of money with that shot. <laughs> That's right. That's exactly what he said. It had been Louisville early. They led it 9-7, 11-9, and now Wisconsin carving out the one-point lead. De Beer, big rip down the line. Wow, she, gets, she pulls the trigger quick. Watch her spring off the floor here. It's a tough ball, a nice set for the outside, but just springs up and cups that straight down the line fast. It's hard to get in front of that ball. Both of these setters, both first team All-American, in system they're unstoppable, out of system they're still getting the ball right on target. And a rare service error. That's what's going to decide it. Who can get the other consistently off the net and out of system taking very difficult swings. Hilly back to the line three times the setter of the year in the Big Ten. You've been watching her for five years and just a tremendous, tremendous player. Well, she's just developed and grown. I really think it's taking more chances. That's been her biggest area of growth and moving the ball around. Good pass by Scott. Right side, Stevenson again. Both teams really hitting on all cylinders. First contact. And also, what do you know, a slide. <laughs> <laughs> and Stevenson with that arm. She's got such an interesting arm on that slide attack. It's hard to read. She comes in flat to the net, has a little, little bend in that elbow, but hits it over the ball. We'll have the media timeout after this point. Louisville hitting 571. And Wisconsin not far behind. Beautiful pass. Coming around the horn on a slide again, Devin Robinson will step aside. High quality stuff here in our first semifinal in Columbus. Christine Williamson, I'm Paul Sunderland and the Cardinal. The Cardinals got to be very, very happy with their start. They're hitting efficiency off the charts. Both teams siding out at a ridiculous level. Wisconsin 80 percent, Louisville at 79. That's not good. That's that's almost perfect. It's off the charts and both teams very efficient and look very comfortable. Until that moment out of 34 swings, that ball was out of bounds, no question. But the lines person down our way, she's calling the sideline. The ball was in down the sideline, but it was clearly out of bounds. That's 35 swings between these two teams. Two balls hit out of bounds. Here's Orzel. Tight pass for Dilfer. Got to go up and joust. Smrek doesn't need much time to get off the floor. <laughs> Just on her tippy toes on that overpass. What a smart shot against the flow that time by Tillman. Beautifully placed. Both blockers in. Loberg in on that one. And that area is open right over top of the block. If you can get over top of it, and Tillman sure did. 
Dilfer had one offer coming out of high school in Northern California. That was to TCU, one offer. Well, talk about a one. She's a first team All-American. That's right. Tight. Tillman with a good deflection and we're tied at 16. And Tillman, we talked about Stevenson, but Tillman also. Well, they called a net violation yeah. and no, no argument from Tillman. Right, right. No argument in the middle of the court, number 25. There's a lot of red in this building, and the red, the red that has Cardinals on their jerseys or jackets did not like that call. <laughs> it's hard to know. It's hard to tell. Right side, back to Tillman. Love that. And both teams continue to receive serve at a high level. And we talked to Anna Stevenson. She said, you know, I don't think Tillman gets enough credit. She's so good at the net. She works her tail off. She's one of the leaders on this team. And she was so proud to have her as a teammate. Last year, ACC Defensive Player of the Year in one match this year against Kentucky, no less. She had nine block assists. Tough serve. Right on target. Loberg. Good location, deep area five into the cross court by Grace Loberg. Well, that's smart. You've got that big block in front of you with James and James Jones, excuse me, and Tillman. You have that area open. Good libero in the in the left back. You got to find some areas of the court. Dumps back on Wisconsin, hitting 478, Louisville 450, and they're serving tough, aren't they? They are indeed. Right side hammered right on the sideline, straight down by Retke number 16 in red. Well, they know when they need to open up this lead, it's going to be Dana Retke that's going to do it for them. A slide attack, we talked about this again, but look at that transition, sees that space down the line and crushes it. That was a well-formed block. Devere right. was in a good spot with Tillman, but it just shows you how how absolutely superb the five-time All-American, throw out all the record books, Dana Redke <laughs> is indeed. Coverage of the NCAA Women's Volleyball Championship continues with a national final coming up on Saturday night at 7.30 Eastern Time on ESPN2. For more information on the NCAA Women's Volleyball Championship, log on to NCAA.com, the official online home for all 90 NCAA championships. During the timeout, let's send it down to Christine. All right, guys, I'm going to preface this by being transparent and saying that I myself have not watched Ted Lasso, but late this season, the Nebraska volleyball team has adopted the Ted Lasso mindset. They have practice shirts that have the believe sign that Ted Lasso placed above his office on their backs. It's crooked and all. Uh, and of course, it, that message just means to believe in yourselves. And I feel like as the 10th seed and taking down Texas last week, they have done just that. Christine, you just admitted to the world you do not watch Ted Lasso. Do not cancel me, please. You're going to have to do it, Christine. Wow. wow. <laughs> I, I have never canceled anyone, nor would I ever, but I, I'm, I'm contemplating. Lasso, Lasso is a must watch. I've heard, I've heard. I'll say, I, got, I got your digits now. I'm going to remind you. <laughs> Thank you. There's Kelly Sheffield. What a job he has done. Coming in as the fourth overall seed. Had a wonderful run at Dayton before coming to Wisconsin, the side out numbers. I mean, 72. What, what's what's re, what's going to win you most sets? Well, you want to be at 65. That's like a very good side out percentage. That's where you want to be. That's kind of a really nice, strong standard. Anything above that is gravy. And being in the 70s and 80s is, is ridiculous. Orzo, good contact off the block. Touch. Right back at you by Scott. Boy, these teams are really good in ball control. First contact off the block as well. And that was very impressive by Louisville because they ran Jade Demps on kind of a C ball, not completely on the pipe or all the way on that D. Moved zones a little bit, but Louisville was right there, able to defend. If you wonder about season numbers, Louisville hits 300. They're hitting 435. I'll give you Wisconsin in a moment. Attacking Orzel, who's been up to it pretty nicely in receive. Right side, Iko Jones over the top, and that's going to be out of bounds. Smart off-speed shot. Just to finish the thought, mentioned Louisville at 300. Yep. Now they're hitting upwards of 450. Wisconsin on the year. And at both conferences, the ACC and the Big Ten, were magnificent, particularly this year. The Big Ten always is. Wisconsin was first in the conference at 296, so both way above their season averages. Right side rejected by Stevenson, number 11 in white. 
reads it so well. That ball's off the net. You know Sidney Hilliard's gonna fling this ball back to Dana Reckon to have that connection. But look at those hands. Look how high Stevenson is above the net. Reaches for it and then brings it back into the court. Timeout called by Wisconsin. Good response by Louisville. <laughs> you got to enjoy that. Dana Recchi now is hitting zero. Two of six with two errors. So they're doing it. This is something that I tried to incorporate into my mix late in my career. How about you, Salima? I wish I had learned about visualization and this kind of relaxation a lot earlier. I was a mess. It, it is, <laughs> it's huge. We all were. We were all crazy. But to watch them do that and really visualize themselves playing in the game, visualize their, their teammates, the nice practice they do after their practice. Chance for Louisville to recapture the lead. Off speed down the line and De Beer again as Christine Williamson told us before first serve number 14 in white had not practiced all week and in serve and receive this morning did not take one swing. She looks just fine. She looks fine. She looks comfortable and, and they they hoped she would give it a go. They kind of figured she would. We all thought well, she was going to give it a go. <laughs> no chance she's going to sit out. The mind for sure. But is the body willing one on one out of the back row once again number 15. Demps. She's continuing with hitting that high percentage. Recky pulls the block with her, has one block available, and she can hit it in either direction. Iko Jones, perfect four for four. Amaya Tillman, four for four. De Beer, three of eight. Shank pass. Chance here for Wisconsin. Free ball, really good chance. On the slide, no one on one. Good reaction out of the middle by Stevenson. And off the top of the tape, and Jones missed it out of bounds. Wisconsin back on top by one. Salima, obviously a very, very closely, hotly contested opening set. Is it more important for Louisville or more important for Wisconsin to take this first set? I believe it's more important for Louisville to take this first set. They have to get themselves in a position where they know they can win this match. Tight pass. Is that, oh, wow. Very tight. It looked like. Tori Dilfer might have, if the, if the ball is in the plane, any part of the ball above the net, Dana Retke has every quote unquote legal right to go after it. And she got the call from the first referee. Big call, that looked like it was gonna be a perfect pass. It really did, and, and that's a tough one when you don't see it right along the net where Patty Rolf is staring right down the net. You can't, it's really hard to tell, and that's why the fans will explode, because they have no idea. Here's another look. This is a really important play. Wow, wow, is any of that ball, is any of that ball on Wisconsin's side? The reason I think it is, is watch Dilfer's hand kind of fold back, her wrist fold as she's at the plane, her hand dips a little bit, so I think slightly over the net, and Patty Rolf is one of the best, so I'm going with Patty. Okay. <laughs> Let's all go with Patty. Well, it, no, you know, it can't be challenged, it's a judgment call. The first set summary, Smrek off to a wonderful start, as is Tillman. And I agree with you completely, Salima. I think, in spite of the fact that Louisville is 32-0, in spite of the fact that they're the number one seed, I think it's more important for them and their hopes of advancing to take the first set than it is for Wisconsin, who has been here before. They've been here before, and they know they can come back. Of course, Louisville does too, but Wisconsin has been in this environment. They, they are confident. They have the experience wealth of experience being here. So being down one set for Wisconsin, I don't think is quite as impactful as it is for Louisville. The road for Wisconsin, the three-time Big Ten champions through Colgate, Florida, Gulf Coast, UCLA, and Minnesota, all three sets tonight. And hitting 355 are Dana Recky, Lauren Barnes, and Sidney Hilly so far in the tournament. Maybe a must-side-out situation for the Cardinals. Where else are you going to go? Stevenson flying out of the middle. Come on. You watch Stevenson jump, move around the net. This It doesn't matter who's in front of her. I'm loving these battles right now with the middles. Some powerful, explosive middles just going at it right now in the semis. Perfect pass by defensive specialist number two, Bartlett, right on target. Out of the back row again, Bartlett keeping the ball in play. Orzel going off speed. Jones has got it off the floor. Stuffed by Retke. 
was a big play by Ricky. <laughs> the ball's all the way in the court. You're not sure if DeVito's gonna take a swing at it, a little cut at it. And Ricky just stays home, turns her back on it. Here's that tip that looked like it almost hit the floor. I wasn't quite sure. Here's that transition play and, and Recky cleaning it up. Now Dana Recky, who can be a dangerous server, she just doesn't get many opportunities. Well, not, not particularly dangerous in that situation. <laughs> She's only served now a total of nine times, but when you're six foot eight, you can serve down into the court. And here is DeBeer, big moment, 23-22. She'll be going straight down the line at Orzel, right in that either right at her or in that scene between she and Loberg right now. Keep an eye on Dems out of the back row as well. Great rip. Devin Robinson, the 6'2 sophomore out of Iowa. A really clutch pass once again right back at you. You know, she looks like she's jumping higher and higher every, every single time I watch her play. That slide attack, high contact point, gets on it and there's no defending it when you hit it straight down. Set point number one for the number four seeded Badgers. Right side, Stevenson again, dubbed by Barnes, but not kept off the floor. Well, I'll tell you, both of these teams are really tough in serve receive. Very tough, and that's the most impressive part. It's controlling the ball and the setters moving it around, but Stevenson hitting that down the line, like that high flat shot down the line off the block. She's done that a couple times already. Smrek back in the front court, replacing number 15, Demp. So you've got Robinson there as well. This is a very, very tough lineup to defend if Wisconsin passes the ball on target. Well, Smrek has been good hitting that one ball. We'll see if they go to her on a perfect pass. She is, speaking of that, a perfect four for four. Not needed. That ball drifts over the end line. Very well played opening set here in Columbus in our first of two semifinals. Wisconsin, the Big Ten champs, take the opener 25-23. First national semifinal, Wisconsin number four seed over at Louisville, 25-23. And Jade Demps, again, a very creative lineup move made after the injury to Danielle Hart and very productive by number 15. It's been a good position. Anna Schreck getting it done in the front court generating points and then did Jay Dent out of the backcourt generating points as well. That's a big, big position for them. Wisconsin to serve first. There is Dent. She took six swings, all of them behind the three meter line. Only Dana Recky and Grace Loberg took more swings. So a big part of Wisconsin's effort. Give you the numbers from the opening set after this play. Barnes, shank pass here, Dilfer. And an opening look here for Wisconsin. Nice play by Dana Recky. That ball was just hit out of bounds, however, but what a move oh. at six foot eight. What athleticism, what speed getting off the net and transitioning. She wants a challenge. So quick off the floor, beat the block off the floor, which you don't see very often for a person of that size. But, but I don't think you challenge. We had this last week with Nebraska and Texas. Do you challenge it once? Not, zero? Now. Not no, now. Not now. Because we're using the quote unquote old system where once you use it, it's gone. Right. More whether on. you win it or not. Exactly right. I think that's a good decision not to use it, although Redke was a little bit hot. <laughs> was she not? I had a sneaking suspicion yeah. they were going to set her after that play. Did you, do you think? <laughs> they were so mad. And if I'm Sydney Healy and I know my roommate and my best friend, I'm going to get her that next ball. If that ball was past 20 feet off the net, Hilly would have still tried to get it to number 100%. 16. 100%. <laughs> There is Demps just underway, second set. DeBeer up into the block and is roofed. Hilly, along as you mentioned with her roomie and her bestie, <laughs> number 16, Dana Recky. Let's go down to the sideline and Christine again for more on Louisville. Wisconsin obviously starting this set off really well on defense, but during that last timeout, Tori Dilfer looked at her team and said that they're getting caught on those one on one situations with their defense on their heels and the off speed shots are kind of catching them off guard. They need to not be caught off guard on their heels and take care of those balls so that they can get the ball over to the other side of the net. Yeah, I, I think that's a really good point. They're doing a nice job and the balls hit hard. They're digging it well, but some of those tips and roll shots have been going down. That's a good observation by Tori Diffel. Dilfer. Really good high flat swing once again by Loberg. Numbers from the opening set. Wisconsin hits 412, sides out at 75%.
Louisville, 100 points over their season average. Wisconsin was way above theirs as well at 400. They side out at 70% and they lose the opening set 25-23. It's crazy, but what I'm so impressed with, what we talked about at the top, is how poised Louisville is right now. This, these lights aren't bothering them at all. They are playing very well on this stage. Really good block touch that time by Hilly, working on De Beer. Stevenson in transition as well. And there's that pickup that, Christine, you were talking about, getting that ball, getting underneath that ball that's tipped right over the top and transitioning out of that. Tori Dilfer, number 12, the first team All-American setter. You know, everybody talks about her leadership, as they should. Everybody talks about her work ethic, as they should. But let's not forget, she is really, really a good setter. Two of the very best in Hilly right now, along with Dilfer. That ball missed out of bounds, so now three of seven. That's just the first ball out of, I'll get the total, out of 39 swings that Wisconsin has hit out of bounds. Well, that's very impressive. And Dave, that one was a little bit far for Dennis. I think she saw the block and made a last minute decision and that's why she cut it out of bounds. That's a very easy serve and a predictable result. Orzo one on one, her second kill. Oh, Julio Orzo, who said it's taken her some time to realize she doesn't have to hit every ball as hard as she can, but when she gets that chance, she's going to do it. When you're one-on-one, -on -one, you gotta, <laughs> you got to bring a little hammer. Well, and she's going to bring it, no doubt. Yeah, she has been made to feel so welcome by this team when she flew from Warsaw into Madison. The entire team was there at baggage claim, and it's been great stuff ever since. Block deflection. Not a pretty contact, but right on target. That's going to be a net violation. Who's it called on? It's going to be called against Robinson. Devin Robinson, number 10, lost her balance a little bit, and uh, unfortunately a net violation for Wisconsin, but Louisville will take it. Very closely contested opening set. Memory serves that neither team led by more than two throughout. Good pass by Tavita. That ball off the edge of the block and out of bounds. Wisconsin was working on that shot this morning. They were, and I, I like when it's pulled inside. She's got that huge block in front of her, those great middle blockers of Louisville, turns and cups it off the hands and gets the tool. Six-foot freshman again <laughs> facing a block. You know, she's not that undersized, and she can really get off the floor and has a wonderful arm. Dilfer, nice smart tip. I, I mentioned competitive, I mentioned hardworking, I also want to add very smart indeed. So smart, she knows where the block is, that is just a beautiful tip behind her head, knowing that it's available and there's no block there to defend it. Receivers on both sides doing a very good job, in system a lot. 6-5 is the lead, Wisconsin the number four seed, won the opening set over Louisville, the number one overall seed, 25-23. Free ball for Louisville. Tillman, the ball's dug, Chavita was there. Good kill out of the middle for Louisville. And that's what Louisville needs, just to get Wisconsin a little bit off balance, force some free balls or some easy balls right into the court, they can run their full offense. Stevenson, five of seven, Amaya Tillman, five of five, Iko Jones, four of six, De Beer, watch this, three of 13. Mm -hmm. Good set by Barnes, the Libro getting inside. What a reaction by Tillman. Another free ball outside the Chasse. Number nine in white through a seam in the block. We talked about the reaction, so many bang bang plays with just a little bit of rattle over the net. There's that free ball, getting it out there fast enough, beating the block. Robinson can't close quick enough, and Chasse finds it. Chasse, the six-foot senior out of Sun Prairie, Wisconsin, was told she was too small to play for the Badgers. Oh. Well. <laughs> Orzel, big swing. Well, Orzel going in that deep area of the court that you spoke about earlier, how that's available and open. Again, you don't want to hit line against Jones, that's for sure. Don't want to hit line, don't want to hit low. <laughs> None of those, but the setting and the first ball contact right now. I knew this match, we all knew this was going to be at a really high level. 
you know, when you talk about the conversation between the Big Ten, four teams into the regional finals, the ACC had a record-setting year for the first time ever, along with Pitt, who plays later tonight against Nebraska. They put two teams into the national semifinals, but they had three teams yeah. into the regional finals. Just so impressive, both conferences this year. Louisville beating Georgia Tech to advance to their first ever national semi. Good block touch. Smart shot by Scott. DeBeer threw the seaman down. Elena Scott with a magnificent dig in the bro. Oh, man. First, he fires that one to the corner, and Barnes get there playing a little one on one game there. But this, look at this dig. Perfect. Dilford does not have to move, and that's why there's a split in the block. Scott averages 3.9 digs per set in the regular season. She's averaging five per set in the tournament. Overpass to Beer. Louisville driving it from the service line, really putting some pressure on Wisconsin right now. Aiden Bartlett, five foot six sophomore, as mentioned out of Kansas, has really been good in the tournament. Smirk again. Boy, she moves well at six foot nine and only a freshman came in last winter but could not play because of the COVID season. So she's been in the gym facing off against Dana Recchi on a daily basis. And because of the injury, she's gotten a lot of very important playing time. And it's been fun to watch her development just getting better from the middle and on the right side of the court. Boy, good eye that time by Bartlett. I thought maybe that Kelly Sheffield might use a timeout, but he decided to disdain that. And Elena Scott will go back to the line. Scott, just like her head coach, Danny Busboom Kelly was a setter, even at Nebraska before she moved over to the bro. Why not? Again, oh, Stevenson was there that time on Smrek. That's almost why not. Stevenson read it, took a chance, dove into that angle, just didn't get over quite in time. Otherwise, she would have grabbed it. Anna Smrek out of Ontario, Canada. Her father, Mike Smrek. If you're a longtime Laker or NBA fan, you might remember his name. Played collegiately at Canisius and won two NBA championships with a couple of guys named James Worthy, <laughs> Kareem, Magic Johnson, 87 and 88 NBA champion. Here is Demps. Short serve. What a good play that time. Really good play by Louisville. We might have our first challenge. Yep, we're going to go to the challenge card. You get three challenges to start the match. Yep, we're going to have our first look. And again, it's bundled so you can look at a touch off the block, a net violation, ball in or out, three meter line footfall violation, service line footfall violation. Yeah, there's a touch. That's uh, great work. You can see the index finger. I saw I, 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 I saw it. As, it. Yeah, I didn't even look at the replay yet. I didn't even get my eyes there. Come on now. <laughs> Give so me a look, second. I'm come listening on. to okay. you. I was just listening. Well, don't, do, don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. <laughs> I, I think that was clearly a touch. Well, when, when they got off the bench, Coach Busman Kelly said it was right in front of you. I can't believe we have to use this challenge. We'll see if we can see a good look at that. On, but maybe that last view was a little bit On the first more look, I, I saw some vibration and movement on the right hand of number two, Sydney Hilly. So I think that that was a touch. Our first look was excellent. Again, the experimental system that was used during the season, if you were correct on your challenge, you would keep it. So it was basically an unlimited number. Right oh, there. there it is. Yeah, right yeah. there. There's the bend. The experimental system will be reviewed. All right. the data has been taken. The rules committee will go and look at that in January, and then we will see what happens going forward. But using the previously approved, yeah, there's the touch. That's good work by the officials, good work by the coaching staff. Excellent work. But as mentioned, they lose that challenge. It, uh, they used it appropriately because they, they got they the point. They win the challenge, but they lose, they yes. lose that one. They, they no longer have that one on the shelf. But what a play. Remember that play? Oh. That ball was almost on the floor. Sure. Wonderful diving save and set by Dilfer and then put away high flat by De Beer. Here is Jones. Shank pass. Louisville with the biggest lead of the match so far at 14 to 8. Michael Jones. I believe came into this match with 37 aces. She's excellent from the service line.
Devere. Through the block and down once again. Anna Devere and Louisville, what a response after dropping. The opening set here in Columbus. Been affected by the Southern and Midwest tornadoes. If you would like to help them, please, please do. Visit redcross.org slash ESPN to help the Red Cross respond and help people recover from this devastating disaster. Really, truly, truly tragic across such a swath of the Midwest and Upper South. Back with three-time All-American. I think the first time I mentioned it. Yeah. Three-time All-American. I am aware of Well, there we go. There yeah. we go. Got everybody knows with Salima Rockwell. <laughs> three-time All-American. Nice play by Ico Jones. Louisville rolling. I'm Paul Sunderland. They are absolutely rolling right now. And it's Jones. She is getting it done at the net. Came back. Got an ace. Really just doing a lot for her team right now. And how about this? Kelly Sheffield waiting no longer. Burning one of his team timeouts right after the media. Louisville on a roll. Would they respond? Would the moment be too? Five-time NCAA champion Nebraska seeded number 10 coming off a magnificent performance in hostile territory in Austin, Texas, and the Pitt Panthers into the NCAA championship for the very, very first time. Nebraska owns the season series against the Pitt Panthers. They're meeting for the fifth time in tournament history. Difference for Louisville, but maybe more importantly, what is Wisconsin not executing? I guess it it's, would be first ball contact. It's been the first ball contact, Paul, exactly like you said. That's been the biggest difference, and this lady right here. Getting it done at the net has been so efficient in set number two, Anna DeBeer. A lot of questions about whether or not she was 100% suffering some from back, from back tightness. I talked to her earlier today during the serve and pass. She was going to go, no question. She was three of ten with a couple of errors in the first set. So far in the second, she's five of eight, hitting 500. A lot of tough swings against a very big block. A big block, and she's rattling it through those hands. It's a big block, and she's still challenging the block. That's what I respect about it, going after those hands. Iko Jones, a pretty good run. I was thinking about Smrek and Retke in the context of the recent Olympic Games. When they block together, that's the tallest block in the world. Yeah, that's crazy. Longer than Russia, longer right? than China. It's the tallest block that's nuts. in the world of yeah. volleyball right now. <laughs> Here's Chavita. Wisconsin does have time, but they got to sort some things out. It would be nice with a block touch if you're a Wisconsin fan. Good pass. Chavita digging a rocket. Nice play. De Beer is feeling it. No problem with the back. No, <laughs> everything is fine. De Beer is looking good. Coach Buster and Kelly wanted some kind of maybe call at the net. A little frustrated there, even though they got the point. Freshman of the year last year. Second team All-American this. Was 14 of 40. Not necessarily great numbers in their win over Georgia Tech. One of three teams now down to two that advanced out of the ACC. Louisville doubling up on Wisconsin. Chasse back again, and was that ball missed out of bounds? A touch. Second referee called a touch on Chasse. Wow. See, you've already used one challenge. You can't lose another. Use another. With this, with this lead, I, I don't think you can use another and, and go into the third. I would not either if I was no Buspoon Kelly. Yeah, there's no sense in using it right now. The second referee, Wade Dubois. Oh. Look at that left hand of Tillman, or excuse me, Stevenson, we'll see. No. Huh? Chasse didn't touch it. Right, I think no. the middle blocker did. No one at Chasse right. said no. <laughs> <laughs> Chasse through the arms. What a dig by Demps. Ball still alive. Wisconsin scrapping at the defensive end. Could not keep the ball off the floor. Louisville continues with his comfortable lead. Well, there have been a lot of balls rattling through the arms of the Wisconsin block. They're high. They're all jacked up right now because the, the outside for Louisville can hit high. But Wisconsin needs to just press and get over, control their hands. Take up some space, stuff a ball, or they could dig around it. Here's CC Rush, defensive specialist for the first time. There's a lot of off speed in Chasse. Look at this, nice play. 
Chasse is blocked. Really good defensive effort by Wisconsin. Keeping the ball alive, that was Dems out of the back row that brought that one over. They had a chance to score again, but the block of Wisconsin got there. Hands just controlled and over the net. Chasse now three of six. De Beer leading the way with nine kills. Anna Stevenson with five. A little bit quiet here in the second, especially when the passing has been so good. Here is Hilly. Timing not there for Chasse. She was in too early. Smack into the cross court. <laughs> That's a tough ball to defend. She just hits it at the top of her reach. Hits it at about half speed. Chops on top of the ball, takes something off of it. Gets on top of it. Working short on Tillman. Chasse looking for a touch and got it. Really wonderful high flat swing and good work by the officials to detect that micro touch. Looking for the hands there, got him flat and high. Tori Dilfer, 5'11 grad student, mentioned out of Los Gatos, California. Father Trent, 14 seasons in the NFL. And here for this one. Good pass by Chibita. And a smreck has been fabulous offensively, but obviously got to give some credit to Chavita in reception and Hilly making a good choice. Chavita has been battling there in reception. A lot of those balls dropping in front of her, very good at getting in front of it, but Schmack seeing that block and blasting off of it. Here is Orzel. And misses that into the top of the tape. Service game from both teams has been really good. Some pressure with few mistakes. Well, we'll give you the numbers. Wisconsin now two aces, six errors. I didn't realize it was that high. And now two aces with only three errors. Make it seven errors for Wisconsin and only three this time. And a timeout is called by Wisconsin with Louisville leading 21 to 13. We talked about all the numbers. First time ever for Louisville. They've been building this program into a regional final a couple of years ago. Got to the regional semifinals, albeit in a field of 48 last year. And this year broke through. And when you look at their resume and John Cook and mentioning Nebraska, John Cook told us last week in Austin and reiterated again this week when we asked him about Louisville. He said they are the best team we have played all season long. And you know Nebraska plays Wisconsin, Minnesota, right. Purdue, and all the rest. High praise coming from John Cook, Nebraska's head coach, one of the best in the business. They're coming up later against the Pitt Panthers. Well, the praise, we could see why John Cook would say they're such a good team. They've been calm. And this is what you see across, across the season, even when they've been down, when they've had moments where they're not playing well, they still stay pretty composed, controlling the ball. Their ball control remains pretty consistent. And with Dor Tori Dil Dilfer at the helm, they're still able to run their offense. Just taking it up a notch right now against Wisconsin. Yeah, I've been most impressed with their ability on first contact Everybody knows or everybody I think agrees that the Big Ten serves with more pressure consistently than any other league in the country. But Louisville's right there. No problem. They're passing the ball exceptionally well. And you talk about the serving and in, in particular Wisconsin, one of the best serving teams in the conference. Wisconsin, Nebraska, Illinois was one of the best, but they are one of the best serving teams. So you're seeing the biggest amount of pressure you possibly can at this Louisville team and they're handling it. Wisconsin hitting 362 on the match. Louisville through the roof 418. Smreck leading the way. Perfect 8 for 8. Dana Recchi 5 of 11. Loberg 4 of 12. Orzel a little quiet 4 of 13. But pretty good efficiency. No errors for the freshman of the year in the Big Ten. Nice pass. Smreck again. Number 14 in red. So they're going to lose Dana Redke finally after five years. <laughs> and look who just walked through the door. Oh, that's uh, that's kind of nice. Dana Smack going high over top of the block again. De Beer having a very good second set. And no touches called. Wow. Louisville can't believe it. I didn't think I, I saw one. That was pretty high. Going for those hands, going high off, off the block, but Coach Westman Kelly is not convinced. That was a good, aggressive swing, but no touch 
was called by the officials back to De Beer. Take that one. I'll just crush it down the line. Yeah, I don't have to go high and flat. I'm just going to hit the ball. I mean, she wanted it again. She likes to hit the ball, likes to hit it hard, has a lot of range. And again, that little step close springing and finds just a little sliver of space down the line. Does Sprint need to adjust and move the block out a little bit? De Beer's been going line a lot. She could, she could. She hasn't tooled on her, but yeah, I think she's finding that line a little bit. She likes to go cross court, deep into the cross court, too. Very easy serve. What a dig by Bartlett. Blocked out of the middle. Stevenson one on one on Retke. Stevenson reading that play, knowing it's going to go to Dana Retke in that transition. Coming into this angle, wants her read and dive. Just dive, gets her hands there. That's the key to their blocking at Louisville. Hand shaped perfectly. Four blocks now for Louisville, three for Wisconsin. Here is Scott. Two points away from evening this match at a set apiece. Loberg missed it out of bounds. Set points now for the top seeded Louisville Cardinal. This streak of 19 straight is coming to a close. This will be the first set, obviously, that they have lost in the NCAA tournament. Set point. The block doing work again. This time, Iko Jones, number 15, along with number 11, Anna Stevenson. Wisconsin takes the opening set. And the winners of the ACC, the Louisville Cardinals, come storming back to take the second. A lot of red in this building. It's going to be that way all weekend long. Let's go over to Christine again. All right, I'm here with Danny Busboom, Kelly, and Coach, you guys obviously lost that first set and came out super strong to start the second set. What adjustment did you guys have to make? Uh, we just needed to uh, dig some balls, really. We're great in transition, so when we're not digging balls, we cannot take advantage of one of our biggest strengths. So we started digging and um, transing, so it's a good adjustment. And one th one thing that you absolutely have to do is try to figure out how to slow down Wisconsin's offense. And you guys have done that, but what do you have to do more in order to kind of slow them down? I think um, Anna Schreck's having a great game, so we got to try to figure her out and just get touches and continue to just be really disciplined and not give them easy kills when we're in the net or, um, you know, touching off the tip of our hands. All right, well, good luck the rest of the match. Thank you, Christine. And, of course, the word from the reigning National Coach of the Year, Danny Busboom Kelly, tied at a set apiece. Jenna Courtney on the other side, as expected. A really good one. Louisville has played at a higher level more consistently than has Wisconsin. The numbers in the second set, as Jen pointed out, for Wisconsin, not good at all. Their hitting percentage are up to 167. So now, now the onus is on Wisconsin. Where do they have to go? It is. They have to steady out their serve pass. That's without question the number one thing they need to do. And then find ways to put the ball on the floor. There's a lot of roll shots, a lot of tips that were easily picked up by Louisville in that set. So they were able to transition nice and quickly. So passing well and finding the hands, finding ways to put the ball on the floor. Really solid. When you look at the numbers for Louisville, side out number, 70% in the first set, and they lose. So they up it to 81%. <laughs> that is off the charts good. Salima, you mentioned a number in the low 60s to mid 60s. Wisconsin, on the other hand, they dropped from 412 efficiency to 167 and only sided out at 50%. So now we're tied at a set apiece. Two champions battling for a spot for the NCAA title on Saturday. Nebraska and the Pitt Panthers still to come. Pitt Panthers in the national semifinals for the first time, the number three seed. Nebraska coming off of what John Cook said, one of the most important, most meaningful wins of his career at Nebraska as they took out Texas, the number two seeds last week. Best two out of three. Here is Dilfer to start things out for Louisville. 
Schmreck again going high. She is 10 of 11 so far. No errors. At some point, you have to try to slow her down. I know they're trying. Let they, me rephrase they're trying. that. They're, they're desperately trying. But you know, right now, if she's the only one scoring, I mean, that's okay. I mean, she's, there's always going to be someone that goes off. And sometimes you just can't stop one attacker. But what they're doing is slowing down the rest of the attackers. And that's why Louisville's playing well. That one should come back up. Smart shot. Iko Jones on the combination. The tallest block in the world was in front of her. It was. Tried to recycle the play, but it was just missed by Louisville. Just underway. Third set. Ripped down the line by Chasse. No touch detected. Moments ago, our Christine Williamson caught up with Kelly Sheffield of Wisconsin. Coach, obviously we knew that this Louisville team was going to be extremely efficient. They're hitting over 400. How do you slow down this offense? <laughs> well, they're passing well, and that's one of the things. We've got to get, we've got to serve the ball, get the ball out of their planes a little bit better. We've got to put good swings in. I mean, there's a few times that we, that we have them put uh, good swings on the ball. They've made it pay and terminate. They're really, really fast. They do a great job of you know, controlling the ball and then getting into the offense fast. We, we've got to take better swings. We've got to put in better serves. So what was your message to your team during the intermission? You know, we're one and one. I mean, we, we shouldn't feel any different by losing the second than had it been, you know, us losing the first one in the second. We, you know, and, and exactly what I told you. You know, we'll make a couple adjustments of where we're trying to put the ball. But the big thing is, we've got, we, you know, we can't, both teams are being stressed by their opponent. They're being stressed by our size. We're being stressed by their speed. All right, good luck with the rest Thank of the match. So much information there from Kelly Sheffield, but I think the takeaway is serve tougher because Louisville is controlling the ball so well and be smarter with our swings. So we'll see if they make some adjustments in both of those areas. Tight play, hit to the floor by Grace Loeber. It was interesting, Coach Sheffield really established himself as one of the best in the business into the NCAA national semifinals for the third straight year, fourth overall. He said, we're stressing them with our size and they're stressing us with our speed. Well, that, it's just the, the tale of two different types of, of volleyball teams. They both are balanced, but they, in different ways, they find ways to score. Loberg now with five kills on 17 swings. Here's Demps, another good pass. Hillman. You heard Jen Hoffman talk about it. Maybe not spectacular, except for her number. She's hit 366. I think she's, Stevenson is so spectacular right. that I don't, I don't think Amaya Tillman gets the headline she deserves. Right, we talked about that a little bit earlier, that she wants her teammate to get that credit. And I like that little hanging one ball. That gives her time to see where the block is. Both setters, as advertised, have been superb. Loberg is Ruth. That is a block that is, is nearly impossible to get around. Jones setting the block perfectly, and of course, Stevenson closing, getting there. You gotta either work the hands, try to hit it high and flat, flat or high and deep into the court. Overpass again, Stevenson will rip that ball off of Hilly. 5-4, third set, Wisconsin, the number four seed, Louisville, the only undefeated team in the country at 32-0, perfect, obviously, in the ACC. Wisconsin took the opening set 25-23. What a response by Louisville, siding out at 81%. Stevenson and the Cardinals take the second 25-15. Good block touch. The beer from about nine feet off the net. Beer having to make a tough move there with Scott. Good recognition and off the edge of the block by Wisconsin. Well, Recky just throwing that up there for Recky to take a, a little crack at it, a smart swing off the block. That's what she does when she has time. She can see that block. Dana Recky on the season, third in the nation in efficiency at 447, number one in the Big Ten. Right now, Recky is 7 of 16 with four errors, hitting under 200. Well, when you're Louisville, you know you need to at least slow her down a little bit. Can we touch touch the ball, slow her down, and make everybody else work? And that's what Louisville's done. You know, I went back and looked through Dana Recky's season numbers, and I started counting the number of times she hit over 400. I went, Paul, what are you doing? She hits 447. She hit over 500 16 times. <laughs> <laughs> Tough serve. 
Orzo, what a good swing by the freshman of the year in the Big Ten. Deep into area five. That's what they went away from. We saw that early on in the first set, hitting that deep area of the court, and then they started chipping, rolling, and hitting into the block. That's where the money is, right there into that corner. Orzo played for the Polish under-19 national team. That's when Wisconsin visited Poland and saw this young star for the first time and has made her feel very welcome. Perfect pass again. Stevenson. Give credit to Alexa Hendricks handling that ball under pressure. Perfect pass. Tough serve right in the seam. Holding that pass. And man, Stevenson cracking this thing cross court. You mentioned Hendricks, 5'7 junior out of Louisville, and of course went to the Libero and Defensive Specialist Factory of Assumption <laughs> High School. <laughs> Orzel again, that ball controlled by Scott. Transition opportunity. Perfect dig by Chavita. We got a back row battle going on. Just inside the block and down. That was really a difficult swing. Off the net with a big block in front of you. How do you hit that inside the block? Here's the defensive effort. Again, a nice move there. Look at the swing inside the block underneath it. That was inside of number 10, Robinson in red for Wisconsin. Shank pass. Off speed, Chavita all over that. What a set. Break for Louisville. Scott with a beat on Orzel right now. Longest rally of the match so far. There were about 10 magnificent <laughs> plays in that rally. <laughs> Orzel with the kill. Let's get you her numbers now. Six of 18, no errors. And it's 8-7. All that, <laughs> and we're at 8-7. Chaste is right in front of us, and she is breathing hard. Good pass again. Smart tip. Second kill now for Dilfer. Well, makes that tip so effective. Robinson's right there, but look how she slows it down a little bit in her hand. She sees the block, moves it around the block that's right in front of her, and hits it inside for the kill. Interesting story that uh, Tori Dilfer told us about her first meeting with Danny Busboom Kelly when she went into the portal, the transfer portal, and wanted to leave TCU. Finish that in a moment. Robinson dug by De Beer. Boy, that is a good set in transition. Isn't it indeed? You talked about Alexa Hendricks dialing up a perfect set. She's doing so much for the team right now. Here's the dig from De Beer and this out of system set. Perfect. And man, how impressed are you with the outsides for Louisville right now? Getting off the floor, but the out of system game right now, I think they might be winning. They are right now off the net. Smrek again, 11 of 12. And back to Tori Dilfer. She decided she was going to leave TCU again. That was her only scholarship offer coming out of high school. She contacted Danny Busboom Kelly, and Coach Kelly said, fine, we might run a 6-2. You might not start. You might not have a role on this team at all. And so nothing, nothing was guaranteed when she went into the portal. And, and actually, Tori Dilfer telling us that was one of the reasons why she came. It, She's it, not the kind of person that wants or has ever had anything handed to her. No, for sure. And that, that tells you a lot about Dilfer and how she is as a player, a competitor, as a person. She wanted to be at a program where she was going to be trained, get to the next level. And she didn't mind battling for it. Louisville on top 10-9, tied at a set apiece. Same story with the Auburn transfer and Anna Stevenson. And they're both first-team All-Americans. Robinson over the top of the block, nice dig. De Beer there defensively.
Scott will track that down. Okay, Tillman does a lot of good work keeping balls alive at the net. Touches. And Schmick does a pretty good job of putting an end to things. <laughs> wow. In system, that perfect pass. When things are in rhythm, Schmick is going to win that battle. She has won it all night. Anna Schmreck is now 11 of 14, no errors, hitting 786. Tufts, oh, it's an ace. That ball floated and floated and rose, and then it dropped right off the edge of the table. Ace for Barnes. I think everyone in the building thought it was going out. <laughs> they were letting it go. I thought it was going out. Landed right in the corner. Yeah, and as a receiver, you just got to move on. Sometimes too good. Barnes now with 34 aces. Block on the outside. Loberg along with Retke. Got the double block there on that perfect pass. They've been handling the ball well. Again, balance. These passers really, really solid for Louisville. But that in this rotation, they have more options. They've got Jones here. Look for her on that two ball inside or perhaps on the left. This unlike shank pass here. Finish that thought in a second. Smart shot off the edge of the block. Remember the opening set, neither team led by more than two. It was just a nail biter throughout. Wisconsin got out to a quick 5-1 start. Louisville answered with a 6-2 run of their own. And now at 12-11, things have settled down a little bit. They have. They started off with a little bit of runs there. And that's what you want. You don't want to give up points in bunches, either team. So now each one trading the side out game. Louisville right now out digging Wisconsin 36-27. Pretty impressive number, kept alive, but outside the antenna. Really good serve that time. Aiden Bartlett, defensive specialist, along with Alexis, Alexa Hendricks, number two and four respectively, have contributed mightily to the Cardinals' effort. So confident from the service line, consistent with how she moves the ball around. Watch this, this how she approaches this serve off one foot. A little hop there, but a nice flat serve. Bartlett, Money, right there, Iko Jones. De Beer, look out! I really don't know how she found that. I think Anna Schreck got all the way to the line, and this was maybe underneath her. Yes, it was right in that wow. sliver. The sliver has gotten smaller and Micro smaller. hole, micro <laughs> hole. Oh, Not a manhole cover, oh. micro <laughs> hole. Oh. Micro everything. <laughs> micro touch. That was almost a macro contact on Hilly. Good block. De Beer on the outside. Oh, and by the by, number 14 looks just fine. Love watching this Louisville team block. They're timing, their hand positioning. It is trained so well. Going back to before the match, Christine Williamson reported, and we were speaking with De Beer, had been bothered by back tightness all week long. Had not really participated in practice at all, and here she is having a very nice semifinal. Off the top of the block, nice response by Refke in Wisconsin. Without question, you can go back to Danny Recchi. Once she is certainly, once she gets blocked, she's going to end up hitting that ball higher and flatter off the block. Already eight team attempts. And remember, Kelly Sheffield said she gets to a greater efficiency the more we set her. So going to keep going. That ball missed out of the backcourt from the service line by Jay Demps. We've come to the media timeout. A set of piece here in the semifinals. Louisville leading by two. Columbus, Ohio hosting the NCAA championship for the second time here at Nationwide Arena. Louisville and Wisconsin in a real battle. And coming up, the Nebraska Cornhuskers, five times national champions. There is Lauren Stiverens. What a story in her sixth year, a redshirt year and a COVID year. And the Pitt Panthers finished second in the ACC, and now they are in, like their uh, companions from the ACC into the NCAA semifinals for the first time ever. Loberg one on one. Boy, beautiful offense that time by Wisconsin. Got that one on one like you talked about. That's what they need to do. They have a lot of double blocks in front of her. Grace Loberg has had a lot of hands right in front of her face. She's had to work around and that's what they need to do. Steady out the passing and they can get that that one on one block. 
Loberg now with six kills. We'll give you the numbers. Louisville right now out hitting Stevenson out of the middle. On the match, Louisville and Stevenson are hitting about 370, waiting for the computer to change. And Wisconsin is hitting 293 at about their season average. Are you surprised that Stevenson and Louisville have been able to attack at this efficiency against a team like Wisconsin? I will say I am surprised. I knew this was going to be a battle. You don't know who's going to win this match. But with the size of the block of Wisconsin and the experience, I am surprised at how well they're playing at the net. Demps out of the back row. Nice dig by Elena Scott. But a net violation will nullify that as Izzy Ashburn comes comes back on the serving story three aces Ashburn has set an all time record at Wisconsin for aces in a season three aces for the Badgers nine errors three and three for Louisville so the Cardinals winning in that particular category good contact by Dimps and look out below from Robinson Robinson coming all the way over to Hilly. That ball is dug to the right side of the court. You'll see this move. She comes right to her. Still runs a one ball right in front of her to the, on the right side of the court. Jay Demps, nice contact in the backcourt, setting that play up. Tied at 16. And another service error. Starting to add up a little bit for Wisconsin. It is. And we even talked about that. We had those conversations how things can turn on you. Maybe it's... it's a couple of passing errors in a row, a few serving errors in a row, and how they can become a little bit contagious. Gabir leading the way with 11 kills, Stevenson with eight, Chasse with seven, along with Amaya Tillman. We'll give you Wisconsin's numbers in a moment. Out of system, Orzel. Cannot be kept in play, so Julio Orzel is blocked on the outside. That's eight blocks now for Louisville. On the other side, Anna Schmreck. Maybe a record-setting performance, 12 of 14. Dana Retke, 8 of 18. Loberg with six. Orzel with six. Devin Robinson a little bit quiet. She's been having a very, very solid season. And right now with just a handful of kills and a timeout is called by Wisconsin. Once again, Wisconsin, the number four seed, Louisville, number one. They're meeting for the very first time in tournament history. As far as history goes, Wisconsin has it in the semifinals on their side, no doubt about that. This is their fifth ever national semifinal. They are three and one all time. 2000, they lost to Nebraska. 2013, lost to Penn State. 2019, to Stanford. And last year, lost in the semifinals to, in 2020 to Texas. Anna DeBeer, huge story and a huge point of concern for all the Louisville fans, which is having a big semifinal. Playing well, does not look affected at all by any injury. We talked about it early on. We figured she'd be back, but I'm really impressed with how she plays the game and how she moves the ball around. Sees the block really well and hits every open slot. Hits that hard ball into the seam, but she's cranked a couple of them hard down the line as well. Very impressive performance so far. Maybe she has a little bit of advantage against Sydney Hilly, but a lot of her kills are coming against Smrack. Well, and, and that's the thing. When, when a block is high and big, that's the adjustment. And I mentioned this a little bit earlier on the Wisconsin side. I mean, she's up there and high, but they just have to get over. She's taking advantage of those hands, almost using them as a target, and she can just hit right off of them. Six times. Three lead changes here in the third set. Wisconsin 29 and 3 overall. Their only losses coming in the Big Ten to Maryland and twice to Purdue. Louisville, it's easy for me. They haven't <laughs> lost yet. <laughs> Out of the back row, that's a dig Scott usually makes. Well, we got a moment. Let's go down to the sideline to Christine. All right, obviously Louisville has eight blocks this match. During the timeout, Coach Kelly Sheffield looked at his team and told them to take care of the ball. He drew some arrows on his on his note board and he said, hey, we have got to stop hitting into the block. Here's how we hit around them. If we're going to hit on around or into the block, we need to use their hands. Get the ball 
on the other side of the court, get some kills so that we can get this offense going. Yeah, that's the key to everything right now. They have the hitters to do it. They can, they have the ability to do it. You mentioned Deb Robinson early and how she's been a little bit quiet. Really good early on on that slide. They haven't got, been able to get the ball to her, so they have to pass to handle the ball so they can spread it around. Louisville is winning the serve and receive, in my opinion. Not by much, but they are winning it as to the quiet nature of Deb Robinson, but nothing at all quiet about Anna Schmreck having a magnificent national semi. 13 of 15. Nineteen eighteen. Here is Orzel. Chasse well off the net. And again. That's the luxury of having so many attackers and Anna Schrack has moved into this spot and is lighting it up today. Ride the hot hand, keep feeding her, keep setting her as much as possible. Seventh tie of the third set. Schreck 14 of 16, combination, connection not there. And that's gonna be a net violation. And that will go down as a kill for Schreck. So now she's 15 of 17. Madeline Gates for Stanford some years ago set an efficiency record. Trust me, it's in jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> Timeout called. Wisconsin has come back to take the 2019 advantage. We talked about Anna Schreck and Deb Robinson moving around and they've been switching how they've been attacking. This has been, this was their game plan. They did it in serve pass. We want her to be hitting out of the missile, middle as much as possible. And that's where she's had most of her success, just running that one ball. Robinson's taking the left side blocker and she has so much room to play with. Well, right now, I'm gonna round this up. Wisconsin has taken, let's say it's 100 swings. If you look, Smreck and Retke have taken 35, so 35% out of those two middles, and then add to that Dev Robinson. That's a really, really big number for Wisconsin. It's a significant number, and when they're off the net, I mean, that's where they're, they would get into some trouble when they're way off the net and have to set the ball high to, uh, to the outside because the block of Louisville is so good. They want to get the middles going and want to get some other options involved. Wisconsin on top, 20 to 19 in the third, Saturday at 5.15 Eastern time on ESPN2 and the ESPN app. Catch a women's college basketball top 10 matchup between reigning national champ, number three Stanford and undefeated, and now number seven Tennessee. The annual matchup has been around since 1988. See who gets the win on ESPN2 Saturday at 5.15 Eastern time. Wonderful to see the Lady Vols back in the national mix. Good for them. That'll be a very, very interesting matchup as this has been. Now, the pressure on Louisville. Orzel back to the line. Opening set was due, second set completely controlled by the Cardinals. Tough serve, and a winner. Won't go down as an ace, but it might as well have been. What a beautiful serve by number 22 in red for Wisconsin. We're sitting right in front of it. It dropped so short right in front of the passers. Now they're moving the passing pattern a little bit, get Chasse out of there and, and change some things up. Orzel going to the same area, good response. Barnes is all over the off speed. Oh, and Amaya Tillman closing the phone booth. <laughs> Incredible play by Tillman. That quick attack coming a pickup by Barnes she waits does not even look at anything at else full commit block and stuffs Robinson that was huge <laughs> tough serve a chance for the tie Tillman no right side Jones ball set a little bit tight Smrek. Smrek, Smrek again. Oh my Smrek. Oh my, oh my Smrek is right. A free ball coming. You know where it's going. How can you slow it down? 22 20. This is what a national semifinal is supposed to be like. 
stretch mark 16 of 18. Chasse answering into area five. Really tough swing from well off the net. I really don't know how she does it. Look how far off the net she is. Sees deeper in the court. She's at about nine feet and still gets that ball around that huge block of Recky and Smack and past Barnes. Remember, too small to play at Wisconsin. Oh, <laughs> uh, you think? A little bit of a chip <laughs> after that. Here is Bartlett. Wisconsin's passing nicely now. That's why they're getting smacked the ball so much. That's the difference, right? It was going to the outside. They didn't really get their offense going, and Smack just rolling right now on those perfect passes. These numbers are just absolutely off the charts. As a team, Wisconsin now hitting 324. Louisville still ahead at 344. Smack is 17 of 19. <laughs> 895. What happened to those other two? <laughs> Loberg. Big swing going high hands. Maybe a piece of the block, but in as well. Set points now for the Badgers. That's the response Kelly Sheffield wanted, hitting the ball in different areas, especially on the pins. That was really a good swing by Loberg. 7 of 22. Loberg, the 6'3 senior out of Geneva, Illinois. Two times honorable mention All-American. Both she and Orzel as the outside attacker struggled against Minnesota in their win in the regional final. Loberg was 8 of 26 with four errors after going 8 of 22 against UCLA with only one. But that was, <laughs> all of that is history. It what did is. you just do? That was really a good swing. Grace Loberg's knows that that was a really good swing. On Sunday, catch the Basketball Hall of Fame Women's Showcase on ESPN at 1 p.m. Eastern. Number five, Baylor takes on number 13, Michigan then at 3.30. It's number six, Louisville versus UConn. Women's College Basketball Sunday at 1 and 3.30 Eastern on ESPN and the ESPN app. With Jen and Courtney, Salima Rockwell, three-time All-American. Christine Williamson, I'm Paul Sunderland. A cast of hundreds here to cover these semifinals. And it, it's lived up to every bit of it. Oh, it's so fun to see. Last year, we didn't have anyone. We had a couple hundred people in the stands. I don't even know what the number was. And now we've got 17,000 and change. Full house again. It's great to see the crowd back here in it in the national championship, in the second national championship of the year. Jade Demps to serve set point number one for the Badgers. And it's Ruth. Ricky all over that swing. Going hard in the cross court again. Recky stops short, knows she wants to go into that deep corner, takes care of that swing, and gets her team the, the set. A volleyball championship presented by Buick. Wisconsin on top now, thanks to maybe a record-setting performance by freshman Anna Schmack. It's quite unbelievable right now, watching her play and hit. It's like the block really doesn't even exist. On a roll, feeling it, and Sydney Hilly is getting her the ball any single opportunity that she has. In sight of a long-time record by Nicole Fossett from Penn State, set back in 2005. Fossett, an NCAA tournament record, 16 kills on 18 swings, no errors. Nicole Fossett, a world champion for the United States in 2014. Now an assistant coach at Ohio State. Off the top of the tape, good reaction by Dilfer. Jones quickly into the middle. Hilly is all over that. And Smrek. Headline, that ball was out of bounds. Look at Danny Busboom Kelly. She's going, finally. There's one. Yeah, Got finally. her right where we want her. Yeah, exactly. There is Elena Scott back at the line. Wisconsin won the first set, Deuce 25-23, all Louisville in the second, and then an 8-2 run by Smrek and Wisconsin gave them the advantage in the third. 
Good swing. A tough swing and a very good hard attack through the block. Well, she hit that one almost on the way down. The block's a little bit early. They're pressed over pretty nicely, but chops it. She uses her hand so well on the ball, she can move it around the block. Wisconsin hitting 308 on the match. How close could it be? Louisville now at 320 after that kill. It was 309. <laughs> Recky doing damage. They worked on moving these zones a little bit. This load block on the left side blocker, you can beat the block to the inside if you move that slide in a little bit. That's what they worked on in practice. Got to move zones. You watch the left side blocker had got past Recky on that play. Beautiful delivery for the thousandth time, <laughs> maybe this year, from Hilly. Good swing down the line. Orzel couldn't come up with it. Anna DeBeer is having a spectacular semifinal. Came in injured, but you wouldn't know it. Hitting the ball high with pace over and around the block. Like, to not be able to control it when you're hitting around and over Dana Recchi is, is, is special. DeBeer leading the way with 13 kills, but I want to revisit a conversation we had during the commercial break. Kill down the line once again. Recchi starting to get hot and get her more balls. We talked about Hillman, uh, Tillman, excuse me, along with Stevenson. Mm -hmm. Very efficient, but a little bit quiet in the third. They got to get the ball more. They do need to get the ball. The, the passing broke down just a little bit for Louisville. Not aces, but just off the net far enough that they've had to rely on the left sides. And Recchi on that last slide all the way to the pin. They're going to keep moving her in and out. Tough serve, but perfectly handled. Stevenson is blocked on the right side. Tied at three. And while we have a moment, let's send it over to Christine again. You guys mentioned that against Smrek, it's almost as if there's no block. Between sets, Louisville was told not to chase the ball on the pins. Stay disciplined, give line, take out the cross when they're out of system or when they're in system, and hopefully they'll be able to slow down that offense. They also looked at each other and they said, we know what we have to do. Just make those adjustments. We got this. Well, you have to talk about the little adjustments, and those things are exactly what they need to do. Easier said than done, that's for sure. I mean, Smrek is playing so well. But if they can be disciplined, that was the one thing that Coach Bustle and Kelly said. Discipline is a big word in their gym. And if they can do that, they can have success. Now Louisville, remember, number two blocking team in the country. And they could use some now. Ball deflected. Chavita not able to make the long run. Well, I wouldn't be able to either because devere has been teeing off. I thought you were going to say because she's oh. playing on one leg. No, well, there's that. <laughs> there is that. But she reads well. But she's been hitting so hard. You haven't seen any rip, any off speed from her. A nice tip over the top of the block. Must win situation for Devere and Louisville to stay alive in the semifinal still to come. The Cornhuskers and the Panthers. Demps has been quiet out of the back row lately. Dill for first contact. Right on target, Stevenson. But what a read by Recky right in her grill. And right back at you, Anna Stevenson, hanging and tapping, yeah. or rap and tapping. <laughs> but I talk about being in someone's grill, waiting <laughs> for it. <laughs> Watch, she jumps. Look, she goes up. She rises. What is that? She was already in the air. Then she rose another foot and threw that ball down. Wisconsin is passing the ball expertly now. Barnes just dialed in along with Chavita, Orsel, and Loberg. You see Brittany Dildine get off the bench and talk to her passers. I mean, that's what she locks in on. So important, great trainer on the bench. One of the best players in the game. It's nice to see the steady, steadying out of the passing. Both teams good in that phase. Stevenson again down the line, and Chavita would have liked to have that one back, give the kill to Stevenson. Well, she has so much success down the line because she hits that high, and, and it, you have to play it with your hands, so there's still pace on that ball. You're deep into the court, but she doesn't hit it in front of you in, in your lap. Anna Stevenson is going to be married seven months from today right. to Duncan Hall. What an interesting story about mm -hmm. how they met. Good pass by Orzel, and that ball hit out of bounds. Stevenson, Anna, and Duncan were in the same class, caught each other's eye, mm -hmm. and then Duncan came to one of Anna's matches dressed as an elf. 
<laughs> that takes courage. Yes, it does. Real courage. We're going to have a challenge. And so Anna, the Louisville players, as part of their pregame, throw balls out. So right. she threw the ball to Duncan. They met and yep. started dating, and they're engaged. And congratulations to them. And they'll be married seven months from today. She married an elf. She did marry an elf, <laughs> and I'm sure he does not care what you call him. He's marrying Anna no. Stevenson. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see if we can see this touch here. Wisconsin is challenging. The ball was called out of bounds. Wisconsin is challenging that there was a touch off the block. Excuse me, Salima. Yeah, yeah, it's it's Louisville that's challenging. Excuse me. I got I got so caught up with the elf. I mean, it's a good I, story. I can well, see how you'd be distracted. I was a little distracted. <laughs> so a touch was called, and the challenge was that there was no touch. That one's a little difficult to see, so it has to be, without a doubt, conclusive. Maybe you see that finger right I there am, in the. I am. Uh, the one, you're, you made you made the key point. It has to be. 100% conclusive, not 99.9 .9 to overturn the call on the floor. This angle, I don't think I see it, but that's a tough one. Yeah, yeah, the, the touch, the touch is always quite difficult. Oh. Wow. I zoom in there, see if that finger moves. You say it, micro? <laughs> you say it. You say it all no, the time. I, I'm not sure. I'm, yeah, not, I'm sure. not sure. Just to finish the thought on Anna Stevenson, and again, congratulations to them on their nuptials. She will be turning pro yeah. right after the conclusion of these championships and look to head overseas and begin her professional career. She is a grad student, the 6'2", uh, now pursuing her master's out of Lawrence, South Carolina. First team all ACC, second team all American last year, and this year, first team. All American. Well, she's going to have a nice career. She's got one thing to focus on here today but, uh, and this weekend, and then she'll focus on her pro career. So the call stands. It will be Wisconsin. So now Louisville, according to the, each team, has two challenges remaining according to the scoreboard. It seems like they've utilized more than that. Sydney Hilly. Back to the line, tied at six. Wisconsin needs one more set win to get into the national championship match against either Nebraska or the Pitt Panthers. Nice dig by Hilly. Oh, what a dig. Spectacular by Hendricks. And missed out of bounds. What a magnificent effort by number four in white. Couple of big plays by Hendricks. She keeps, let's just keep watching her. Keeps the ball off the floor, sacrifices her body, flings around, and, and really doing everything she possibly can to keep Louisville in this. Could be important, but I, I thought the scoreboard was wrong. Wisconsin has three challenges remaining. Louisville only has the one. Oh, there you go. So I, I thought that number was wrong. Never trust a scoreboard. No. <laughs> <laughs> so it's only the most important thing. <laughs> there is Dilfer again. Both teams continue to be very efficient, but not necessarily in this set, hitting 300 overall. Orzel misses it out of bounds. Boy, Elena Scott is yeah. cool as a cucumber. She's just balanced. She's in the right spot. Watches that ball move out of bounds. But Dilfer driving this one down the lines at Barnes. We know Barnes can pass the ball, but when it's off the net a little bit, they can't get Schmeck going. Maybe Robinson, but they're going to have to set the left side. Both teams hitting only 0-83 so far in this set. There is Schmeck again. 18 of 23. A solid pass by Barnes there. That ball being up and down, that's when she can get Smrek going. She sees that space just around the block. And this one was sort of wrist away or thumb down, if yeah. you will. But Smrek has shown all the shots. Everything. Yeah, Every it's single very time. hard to read. Chasse, what a dig by Barnes. But right into the lap of Patty Rolfe. One of the best in the business, the number one referee. She was the first woman ever to officiate a gold medal final, along with Susana Rodriguez of Spain. That was at the Rio Olympic Games in 2016.
Bartlett and Hendricks have been really good receiving and defensively for Louisville. DeBeer through the block and down. She's finding some seams. She is finding the seams. And you watch after Smrek hit that ball, she kind of pushed at Robinson to switch blocks. Watch them switch here a little bit late, and then they have to regroup and close, and there's a little bit of space there. 10-8 advantage for DeBeer in Louisville. Now DeBeer has 15 kills. Her participation at all was questionable 24 hours ago. Right side. Oh, my smrek. <laughs> Finding that inside hand. Throwing it up there and moving her around a little bit now. Moving. I'd say you can't stop her. You can only hope to contain her. Right. <laughs> but they, they're, she's 19 of 25. Yeah, you can't contain her. That, that's out the window. you got to contain everybody else. The beer again. How great is this? Back problems all week long. Everybody was concerned, nobody more than Anna DeBeer. Of course, she wanted to get out there for her family, for her teammates. And what a gutsy performance and a great job by the training staff. <laughs> yeah, getting her back on the court. 11-9, here is Scott. Barnes is dialed in now in reception. Jones over the top of the block and missed it just out of bounds. A touch is called. Neither lines person called it, but nope. Patty Rolf mentioned one of the best in the business. She got the touch. She saw it. No, no real arguments yet. And then Schmack, you can see, is saying, yes, I, I touched it. And Kelly Sheffield goes out. To, or there was a touch. There was a touch. Said. Asked his players, so there'll be no challenge. Remember, Wisconsin has all three of their challenges. Louisville has only one remaining. If we go five sets, each team will get an additional, but Wisconsin will not get four. You can only have a maximum. Good swing. Wonderful swing by Loberg. Loberg has continued to improve throughout the season, and even when she's down a little bit, she can get in a little bit of trouble on the outside, getting a lot of junk, balls that are off the net. A smart swing, high off the hands. She's gotten so much better at increasing her range. Here is Demps. Another really good pass. Stevenson ripping, but out of bounds. Aiden Bartlett, way to, way to let it go. Way to have short arms. Like, thank goodness I didn't touch that. Because I thought it was going in. She's a five foot six DS. If she was five foot seven, it would have been Wisconsin's ball. She was trying everything to touch that. Oh, man. Oh, she's laughing like crazy out on the court. A serve. Iko Jones wearing number 15 out of Kingston, Jamaica. Father John ran track at Nebraska. She grew up, I mean, not playing 40 or 50 or 60 club matches every year. She played four a year out on the concrete. Very raw talent that Danny Busboom Kelly saw when she was uh, coaching at camp in Nebraska. Such an amazing story. Oh, DeBeer tried to chop that down the line. That was an opportunity, a big dig on a ball that it could otherwise have hit the floor. That was Bartlett. Bartlett keeping it alive, and DeBeer chopped it into the net. 14-11. Chavita back at the line out of Milan, Italy, transferred once again from Wichita State for torn righty ACLs, the most recent just this fall. Look at the pass. Good read by Recky. Ball tight on top of the net. Joust coming. Stevenson gets the better of it. We have come to the media timeout, and the battle continues. De Beer and Louisville on top 15-11. Louisville has been perfect all season long. The last undefeated champion, the Penn State Nittany Lions, back in 2009. And uh, Danny Busboom Kelly, once again, congratulations. The ABCA National Coach of the Year went over Georgia Tech, also out of the ACC, to advance to this first ever championship semifinal. But you look at their resume. Beat Purdue, beat Kentucky, swept Nebraska, swept Pitt, very close, mind you. 
First match against Pitt was 15-13 in the fifth. Here's De Beer. The lead is 15-11. Louisville trying to force a fifth set tiebreaker. Over the top of the block. Lauren Barnes, the libero for Wisconsin. I mentioned it dialed in. Do you go elsewhere? You know, maybe, but I, there might be something with where they're setting the ball based on when she, where she's passing. So I would, but right now she's locked in, and, and maybe some of those are misses as well. The defensive battle, as far as digging is concerned, Louisville leads 48-41. Blocking Louisville leads 10-7. Hitting percentage, almost a dead heat. Here's Ashburn. Off speed, nice dig by Scott. Louisville ahead in the point, they're gonna get a free ball. Stevenson on the slide, one-handed slide, and missed out of bounds. That ball, we're, we're a ways away. Patty Rolf confirmed the call. Wow. That was close. That's a free ball. Wow, you got a score on that 95% of the time. When well, you wonder, this, this ball is tight, and she, has, she goes with one hand because she still wants to set it in there. You can see that's clearly out of bounds. Yeah, clearly? It was close. That's clear to me. <laughs> <laughs> it was close, it was, clear. <laughs> yes, out is out. Stevenson, freeze in the defense of Wisconsin. Beautiful, beautiful roll shot. Nice. Hard to do on a quick set. Very hard to do. You're chasing it down. You have to slow everything down, including your hand. But she's been cracking that ball deep into the court. A nice change up by Stevenson. Stevenson now 12 of 19, hitting over 500. Defensive specialist CC Rush on once again. 5'9", sophomore out of New Albany, Indiana. Demps out of the back row. That's the first time we've seen that in a while. Yeah, they, they, she's been effective. They, they just moved some things around, and, and now got her going a little bit again. In that one position you talked about, the Smrek Demps position, and Smrek comes back in the game. Smrek with 19 kills. Dana Recki with 12. Grace Loberg with 8. Jay Demps with 6. Orzel, 6 of 22. Perfect pass again. Joust coming, good cover. Another joust coming. Not this time, this one's not coming back. That's a tough one when everyone's in there crashing, covering that first one, wanted to step up on the second one, but there was really nobody left to cover that second play because they were all on the ground. That's good work by Devin Robinson. Setters are just crafty as heck at that. We are but, indeed. I bet you won most of those jousts. You do here at the table and you elbow me all the time. Nice play. Good response by number 12, Dilfer. She's been battling at the net right now. A lot of these balls are a little bit tight, and she can handle and set the ball anywhere, even if it's, you know, even if it's off the net past the 10-foot line. But I think Louisville, if they can just get her just a little bit off the net, she can run a little more of her great, offense. Great point, 100%. Just a foot or two off. 17-15 is the lead for Louisville. Must win. Working on Barnes again, and she's been up to it. Orzel looking for a touch. None detected, no touch. And looking at Coach Sheffield, no challenge as yet. That's a big miss. Now it's 18-15. Timeout called by Wisconsin. Boy, this matchup has lived up to every bit of it. The number one seed, Louisville, undefeated against the number four seed, Wisconsin Badgers into the national semifinals for the third straight year. Saturday, I want to remind everybody at 5.15 Eastern time on ESPN2 and the ESPN app, get to win's college basketball top 10 matchup between reigning national champion, the number three Stanford Cardinal, and the undefeated number seven Tennessee Lady Vols. The annual matchup has been around since 1988. See who gets the win on ESPN2. Saturday at 5 Eastern, 5.15 Eastern. Julia Orzel, her nickname, her name translates in Polish to Eagle. So she's got a lot of nicknames because she is a high flyer and been a wonderful performer. 19 kills against Penn State earlier this season. Let's go over to Christine for more on the youngster from Poland. Yeah, Yulia has gotten a lot better 
Coach Sheffield said at hitting with more range, growing her volleyball IQ, hitting off the block or around it. And obviously she just had that ball out, but she's been doing a lot better job the second half of the season, not erroring herself out like she used to at the beginning of the season. So hopefully she's able to channel that and get some kills. Thank you, Christine. A chance for a bounce back right now. Orzel just missed that ball out of bounds. Poland is an unbelievable volleyball country. Their men, back-to-back -back world champions, although they laid an egg once again at the Olympic Games. But I have done so many matches in Poland where it is just unbelievable. Very strong professional league, both men and women. 18-15 is the advantage. See if Dilfer can get them off the net one more time, force it to the outside. Back to Orzel, going off speed. Chance for Louisville to extend the lead. Good set in transition. Eiko Jones is roofed by Smrek along with Orzel. Setting a perfect block there was Orzel. Watch her get in position. The ball falls inside. She places her left hand on the ball, the right hand of the attacker, and gets the block. Two huge plays. The free ball to Stevenson missed out of bounds. And then that inability to score by Jones. Loberg. Grace Loberg has found the range. She's finding the top of the block. Well, that's it. You can just see her. She's extending a lot higher now. She's not hitting low. She was hitting low, trying to hit some off of the block, but she was getting blocked there. Now she's just going high. 18-17. Jones. Nice play design. Barnes ran out of real estate. Wow, that was really interesting by Dilfer and Jones. I love it. She's gonna be Jones is gonna be running that too. She knows she's there and she's gonna keep going on her approach. So even if Dilfer's all the way off the court, she can lay it behind her head and and Jones is gonna go get it. Bartlett back on. Serving pressure the key now for quite literally both teams. That's an easy one. De Beer into the antenna. It was either going to be a free ball for Wisconsin or take a little more risk, and De Beer would like to have that one back. When it's the touches, it's the quality touches right now that's off for Louisville. They're way off the net. Either have to hit a free ball or a little roll shot, and that's what's getting him off balance. There is Barnes, already has an ace so far on the night, and missed that just over the end line. That is a big break for Louisville. Again, Wisconsin leading two sets to one. 25-23, the Badgers in the first. Easily for Louisville in the second, 25-15, 25-21, an 8-2 run by Anna Smrek and the Badgers to get this two sets to one lead. Right side, Dana Recki playing so much attention to Smrek. Yep. Dana Recki is one of the best all time, and she's getting kind of an open uh, seam down the sideline. Well, to be her stop short, there's a lot of room for Dana Recki. You don't want to give her that much space because she's going to take it. That was a poor serve. Both of these teams got to focus on the service phase. That was just a lollipop, and that's too many weapons for Wisconsin. Better serve out of system. Tough swing for DeBeer. Dimps is duck right on the sideline. First contact by Hilly. Off the edge. Loberg has been big in this fourth set. She's clutch. She's one of the leaders. She's one of the veteran players on the team and coming through when it matters right now in this set. Tied at 20. Fifth national semifinal for Wisconsin. The first ever for the Cardinals of Louisville. Stevenson, good block touch by Recky. Loberg off speed. Louisville needs a timeout. Absolutely they do. Wisconsin, the Badgers streaking right now against the top seed. Wisconsin really rallying back. It's been the tough serving, but the play of Grace Loberg has been superb in the last six, seven points right now. Seeing the block well, look at that roll shot. 
Bartlett had been shading down the line, reading it well, but that's a tough one to read, especially when Loberg's been hitting high and deep. Well, the first couple of sets, Grace Loberg was struggling. Four kills on 15 swings, three errors. The next two sets, and taking some very difficult swings, seven of 15, one error. Difference in the match right now. Absolutely difference in the match. I mean, we are, this is a one-point set right now, and that's been the difference. Who can make those adjustments? Who's going to get hot on either team right now? You saw DeBeer kind of get cooled off a little bit, a couple of errors, and, and the momentum shifts. This is exactly what we wanted to see. <laughs> it's exactly what we expected and what we're getting. First ball contact. Wisconsin has upped their game. I think Barnes has been really solid over the last set and a half or so. And, and the serving pressure, has it dropped for Louisville? It, it has. It, it's dropped. It, you know, it's, sometimes it's hard to tell. Maybe it's as tough and, and Wisconsin's a little bit more locked in. But right now, in this point in the set, they're winning the serve pass game. Just that, That's just what it is. They're passing better. They're serving tougher. It's a red weekend in Columbus, <laughs> Ohio. You've got Wisconsin, Nebraska, the Cardinal as well. I know they're wearing their home white uniforms tonight as the higher seed. They're designated as the home team. Wisconsin leading 21-20, two sets to one. Bartlett and Scott along with DeBeer, the receivers. Demps back to serve for the Badgers. Huge dig by Barnes. De Beer through the block and down. How about Scott laying out almost hitting the cameraman off of that that touch ball, but perfect dig. Our cameraman is very <laughs> fleet to chair. Very fleet. He backpedals like nobody's I, I business. Saw. <laughs> Look at him shift it around. Look at that footwork. <laughs> that was really a good touch. Perfect pass by Orzel. And blocked. Ripke is blocked by DeBeer along with Stevenson. Calling some block schemes here right now. Sending two on this ball that's pulled forward. They're reading it well. Man, what a play by Stevenson. Did Louisville guess there and try to trap or load up on Retke? Well, I don't think they guessed. I think it was called from the bench. I was kind of watching them celebrate with the coaches. So no guessing. <laughs> Do what I around. tell you. That's right. Get there. Get set. So Louisville comes back with a two-point run, 22-21. Clearly a timeout needed by Kelly Sheffield. What a matchup on the sideline. What a matchup on the court. Great crowd on hand here in Columbus. Once again, Columbus hosting the tournament for the second time. The first was in 2016. Louisville and Wisconsin, Nebraska, and the Pitt Panthers to come. I don't even know what time it is. I don't either. <laughs> uh, who cares? Who cares? It's probably about half an hour after the conclusion of this contest. Nebraska, the number 10 seed, coming off a magnificent performance. Batenhorst. The other freshman, Krause, yeah, yep. doing a magnificent job in Austin last week. The swan song for Lauren Stiverns and Nicolin Haynes. What a win over the second-seeded Longhorns last week in a jam-packed, jam-packed Gregory Gym. Wonderful win by uh, Nebraska, adding to their tradition. And now the Pitt Panthers trying to show that they belong, just like their counterparts, Louisville, you have know, out of the ACC. And they have shown that they belong. The way Pitt had played throughout the tournament, running that fast offense, getting it going, and it's going to be another fun match. Anybody watching right now, stay here. Stay tuned in. Another big battle coming up. Serena Gray for Pittsburgh. Kayla Lund. Lekator member Manet. But let's get through this one first. What a match. 22 21. Repke up front along with Loberg. Dimps out of the back row. What a dig. Louisville doesn't get a swing. Again. Another chance, Stevenson on the slide. No, what a cover. On the overpass. Stuffed by 
Gorecki. What reactions by these athletes. Wow. What a rally. Huge rips. Big defensive plays. There's Scott with the cover. Look at this play by Barnes getting underneath it. The turn and fall, and I think there might be a challenge on this play. Looking for a net, perhaps. This is the final challenge at the disposal of Louisville. The conversation along the sideline was whether or not possibly number 16 in red, Dana Retke, contacted the net. What a, what a point. What a point. <laughs> Ball's down, and then let's see if it moves now. Ball's, st ball's was it still down? up. Was it up? Yeah, it was still up. Yeah, but I don't um, I don't see a net. No, the ball goes into the net. Let's see if we see it. Here's a play. I don't see one there. Oh. Well, they're going to take their time and look at this very closely. I mean, why not? It's only 22 all. Right. <laughs> And been one of those matches back and forth every single point so critical certainly right here Let's see if we can see it here the ruling was point Wisconsin and what Louisville is challenging is that there was a net violation I don't see it the play is not over until there are four contacts yeah. uh, I agree with you Salima I did I did not see a net violation the officials have a closer look I didn't see it on the block, on the way down, but when that ball hit the net, it was so fast that it perhaps, and it certainly could look like she did hit the net. The decision has been made. It's been reported now to the scorer's table, and we're told the call is going to stand. So 22-22, no net violation. Point stays with Wisconsin, and I think that's the right call. Do you agree? Absolutely the right call. I didn't see it. Well, you said it first that there was no net. No. The serve receive has De Beer out of the pattern. Louisville is out of challenges. Loberg's been really good the last couple of sets and serves it out of bounds. So even when you don't win a challenge, there's a long time to wait. It's just like a timeout. And Loberg in there, in the back row. Pressure on De Beer to serve tough, but also in. Got to put pressure on Wisconsin. They're siding out at a high rate on a perfect pass. Look at Barnes just dropping another dime. Dimps out of the back row. Stevenson off the top, not yet. Loberg with a dig. Chasse. Retke on the slide. Violation called against Louisville. That was, I thought I saw it. I, I thought the ball was still on that side of the net. Wow. Let's see if we can see it. What a point to end like that. The ruling is that none, zero, of the ball was on the side or in the plane. And you saw Stevenson go up, go after that ball, reaches across. And that's a close one. This is a really, really close call. But... Wow, that... The, look, do you draw that straight up? Oh, that is so close. It's so close. And, and that camera is not in direct no. line with the net. No, it's not. Man, that is... That is really close. And Patty Rolf Im immediately... Wow. Slowed everyone down from celebrating on the Louisville side. Held her hand over there. 
to indicate wow. that she saw it. What a, what a magnificent wow. point. That rally. Wow. Oh. Some digs that, that you just that don't see so every close. day. Another look from... Uh, oh. Is any part of the ball above the tape? Wow. Wow. What a call. Wow. Louisville. Pressure to regroup. Wow. Wisconsin one point away from their fourth national championship final. That's a big, big Papa, moment. Papa Dilfer thought it was no, not a not good happy. call. Not happy. Tied at 23. Wow. Let's go to Christine quickly. All right, you guys would not at all be surprised, but they talked, Wisconsin talked about defending the slide, talked about taking out the line of Stevenson and making sure that they take out the line, have somebody on the line and somebody ready to get the ball if there's any touches on the block. Thank you, Christine. Tied at 23, must win for Stevenson. Stevenson went around and apologized to her teammates. Oh, My gosh. Man. Micro. <laughs> Here is Ashburn. What a pass. Jose. What a magnificent pass by Alexa Hendricks. That was a really tough serve. It was a tough serve, and she got in there, got underneath it, but really put it in a fantastic position for Dilfer. And a nice tool off the block. Louisville responds. Big moment for CC Rush. She's come on and served a couple of times. Set point number one for Louisville. A serve! Oh, man! seed Louisville Cardinals against the four seed Wisconsin Badgers it is only appropriate that we would go to a fifth set tiebreaker back with three-time All-American Salima Rockwell I'm Paul Sunderland what got Louisville over the line particularly when they had to overcome now that we've looked at it several times what was a right but very hard and controversial call well that's difficult and, and you feed off of the bench the bench was upset you know of course the coaching staff but then they settled down they knew that you have to put that behind you you have to move forward but really so many defensive plays that we saw Louisville make when they could have otherwise given up on balls that, that gives you momentum, that gives you energy, even if you lose a point. Remember the conversation we had two and a half hours ago? I asked you, Louisville in this situation for the very first time in a national semifinal. For Wisconsin, they're third in a row. I'll ask you the same question. Does that mean Wisconsin has the advantage? They've been in this kind of pressure cooker before. Okay, you would think it does, but watching Louisville and how they've been responding this entire night, I'm not so sure. They just look calm. They're not rattled. They're staying confident in what they're doing. They're staying true to who they are. That's what Coach Busman Kelly said. That's what they need to do. So right now, I, you would think experience would have the edge, but the number one team has the momentum. Louisville has played a couple of very tough five setters. Just ask the Pitt Panthers, 15-13 in the fifth in the first meeting. Perfect pass to start. And a crush off the right side by Devin Robinson. Let's go down to Christine. Yeah, guys, during that between sets, Wisconsin looked at each other and they said, this is our set, this is how it's supposed to be. Louisville is a really, really good team. Then they said, we've been playing great defense, we've been doing great coverage. On Louisville's side, they said a little bit of defense will go a long way. Danny Busboom Kelly looked at her team and said, the one thing that I wrote down is stay composed in this fifth set. Thank you, Christine. Amaya Tillman out uh, of Topeka, Kansas, registering that kill in the sharp cross court. You can't say enough about Aiden Bartlett, along with Alexa Hendricks, the defensive specialist, and Elena Scott, the Libro. They have been magnificent. They have been huge for Louisville tonight. Not a good first contact. Yeah. 
Really good set. What location by De Beer right in the middle of the campfire. You don't want to go there, you get burned. <laughs> I don't want to. You could tip that one down the line. Hilly read it. She saw it coming, but that was a perfectly placed ball. Well, but good outside attackers, well-coached teams, they yeah. train that shot. Absolutely. Loberg missed it out of bounds. Quick 3-1 lead for Louisville. Set the challenges. Wisconsin has three challenges remaining, and because we've gone to a fifth set, Louisville gets the additional challenge and a timeout called by Wisconsin. They're gonna execute their game plan and be in a better position. And you look at Wisconsin, Lauren Barnes, Libero, graduate student, fifth year. Dana Recchi, graduate student, fifth year. Three times setter of the year, Sydney Hilly, also a grand student along with Chavita as well. So much on the line. They've invested so much to get to the finals again. Perfect pass. Block touch by Tillman. Good set in transition, but a better response from Retke. Thought that block touch was going to do it. That was exactly what they wanted to do. Slowed down Smrek. Got the transition swing, but the block was there and in position. Seventh block for Redke. She now has 737. That's the most among all active players. <laughs> Demps. Perfect pass again. Tillman, what a dig by Barnes. And into the middle. Smart shot. What a dig by Lauren Barnes. Point blank. Staying in it. Holding her ground, waiting for that ball to come to her. That's what she loves. She loves to just take it. When they crack the ball hard, she wants it to come right at her. Remember our meeting with her yesterday? She said, I don't lock in. I'm moving. I'm ready. I got it. I got it. I got it. She was pretty hyped up yesterday. Yeah, how big was that? De Beer through the block. Nice touch by Demps. Loberg, Barnes again. And that ball hit out of bounds. Boy, I thought that had to be a lift on Loberg. I did too. Wow, wow. Had to save that ball that was going past the antenna. A little questionable, but still hit that ball out of bounds. And Louisville with the serve. Good touch by Recky. Combination play. Stevenson there. Louisville crowd wanted a double contact. They're not going to get the call. Yeah, the crowd is not happy. Bench isn't really reacting. Staff wasn't really flying off the bench. Tied at four. Our stat broadcast as the table has gotten worn out. Yeah, that's not right. <laughs> it, quit, it quit at 3-1, <laughs> so bear with us. Javita, good read. De Beer again. What a battle. Rattle and hum through the block. Finding it, seeing the high hands, and blasting through it. Good contact. Opportunity. Jones out of the back row. Barnes says no. And tucked down inside Stevenson. Uh, maybe a break for Orzel. Timing wasn't there, but you'll take it. Definitely a break. Some excellent defense again on the side of Louisville, just keeping the ball alive off the floor. Orzel finding a little bit of space be between the block and the and the net. Tied at five. Wisconsin has already used one of their two timeouts, even though this is abbreviated tiebreaker to 15. Each team does get two timeouts. The beer, you could hear it. Fantastic high flat shot. That is a beautiful swing at the right time. Sees the block in front of her. So calm, so together. Just going about her business right now. And look who came back.
That broadcast is back. All 20 right. kills for De Beers. Only gone momentarily. I'm going to get it. 6 5 is the advantage. And number 14 in white having a big match. Back to serve. A lot of wonderful performances. And there's another. Devin Robinson mentioned she was quiet for a while, but no more. They can get it to her on the side, and she's got a ton of range as well. Remember, she was playing in the opposite, hitting off two feet so much last year. Had to move in the middle on the right side. Now they're just being creative with what they have in the front row. Robinson with eight kills. Wisconsin hitting 284. Louisville 268. Orzol. And that's going to be a net violation, a break for Louisville. Wow, that's a big break. I didn't see it. Well, we're going to have a challenge, and why not? Kelly Sheffield has his full allotment of three right. challenges. Might as well take a look. And the worst thing that happens, you've got a chance tied at six, make it seven six, unless this is reversed, to talk things over. I am so impressed with the quality of contact on both sides. It, it, that's why they're in the semis. Well, that's exactly right. And that's why we're seeing so much from the middles as well. We'll see if we see anything here. I didn't on the fly, but. Yeah, there it is. Is that yeah, hair? Yeah, on the, uh, I, I didn't think so. Okay. I didn't think so, but that that's, that's. Uh, We'll see if we see it here. Close. Yeah, I mean. And in your hair, a right. touch by hair is not a, a violation. Correct. Jersey, obviously arm, anything, but hair is not. We'll see, the hair whips around, but I don't know if that's her arm. I think that's her hair. I think. I don't know. I don't want to be crazy. Anyone else that want to help me out? Yeah, I think, it, well, <laughs> Salima, like everybody at home, like everybody in the arena, like the officials, I think it's her hair. And that would not be a violation. Correct. You think this one's big? Oh, my, my goodness. goodness. <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, but thank goodness for the challenge system. Yes, because exactly. Because without it, Without it, and, and we're still remaining to be seeing what sure. happens with the final determination of this call, but without the challenge system, it would be Louisville's ball, and maybe that would be the wrong right. call. Right. So these two teams have to stay in it. There's not a lot of match left. Keep their focus no matter how the call goes for either team. Well, Louisville did a magnificent job. Remember after the over call? Yep. Here it is. Replay. Yes, the ball was still alive. That's right. So you were exactly right, Salima. The ball, it, the ball was still alive. It was dug by Chavita, right, right. and it was a non-call, no right. violation because it was hair. There we go. This match has had everything, and still one to come. Nebraska and Pitt. Tough serve. Barnes has really been hot defensively the last three sets. I did not think Robinson was going to get up. She kind of just turned a little pop of the feet, got up, and hit that quick. Chasse off the edge. Hilly's all over that. Orzel somehow tucks down inside. The block was there. Dilfer in the right spot, just a little bit off the net. Couldn't get the block. Timeout, Louisville. No, I know that flag. <laughs> and now we're in a fifth set tiebreaker. 8-6, Louisville, 32-0, the number one overall seed in their first ever national semifinal. Wisconsin, champions of the Big Ten for the third straight year. I like the body language of Louisville right now, the eye contact, how they've been talking to each other when they came out of the timeout. We'll see how they respond. Free ball for the Badgers. And missed out of bounds. Wow. <laughs> missed out of bounds. I kind of lost Barnes. I don't know where she was, but she went diving over to that sideline. And that's a, that's a tough miss right then. Moving Chasse out of the passing pattern here again. See if they can study some things out. 
Stevenson on the slide. Good cover by Dilfer. Chasse, what a gutsy swing by number nine, and a brilliant set. A beautiful set and a big, big play because Orzo was there on that slide. They slowed down Stevenson, exactly what they wanted to do. Good comeback there by Chasse, who's come up with some critical kills at the right time. Comeback play by Louisville. Look who's come back in, CC Rush, the ace to close out the fourth set. That one was pretty easy, not well handled. Orzo down the line. The freshman is playing so big under pressure. She loves these moments. She's a tough kid. Loves to play in the big matches. Parents back in Poland had to go to great lengths to find a <laughs> Big Ten volleyball. Somehow they managed to do it. Probably pirated a single from somewhere. Who cares? De Beer out of the back row. Must have for Louisville. Again. Look at Barnes. Barnes again. Looking for a touch. None called. Spectacular sequence by the Libero. Incredible defense. This roll shot, I, I swore, was going to be down, down. Barnes all the way deep into the court gets the pancake. With the tongue out. <laughs> well, you can't take your challenges with you into the finals. So Kelly Sheffield, remember, he came in with his full allotment of three challenges. And on that swing off the left side, Wisconsin is challenging. The ball was called out. Wisconsin is challenging that there was a block touch. I couldn't see it on that angle. We'll see if we see it on this one here. A little bit better. Maybe a right finger, index finger, finger of Dilfer, but let's but see. But remember, it has to be 100% sure. conclusive. Oh, I don't think so. I think that's a shadow. I, I, yeah. don't, I don't think there's a touch. I Emphasis on think. I don't right. think that's a touch. But if you're unsure, then you have to stay with the call as it was made on the floor. Wisconsin leading 10-8, tied two sets apiece for a shot at a national championship. What a match. And you said it is still have some changing little shoelace of player chasse. This reminds me of that absolute classic we had between Stanford and Nebraska some years ago, right down to the wire. Yeah. Both teams playing at an incredible level. What a battle. It's been such a treat for everyone here in the building, everyone watching at home. I want to say this the right way. Somebody's going to win this match, obviously, but I don't think anybody's going to lose it. No, that's... Somebody's going to win it. The level has been so good. The separation is just, just a uh, wonderful performance by both these teams. Call stands, 10-8. Smrek is in the front court along with Robinson. Smrek 19 kills, hitting 692. Do you commit to her on the perfect pass? Is Smrek? Yeah. Oh, Robinson's been getting it as well, but yeah, she got to. You got to. She's been so effective. Chance to get within one. Chasse is roofed. Robinson staying on the right that time. They've been switching back and forth. Who was blocking on the right? And that was all Devin Robinson. What a physical block on the outside. Robinson, a high flyer at six foot two, along with Smrek or Recky in the middle. Perfect pass. Good play by Orzel. Oh, what a little pokey that time by Hilly. <laughs> Iko Jones, big swing and missed it out of bounds. Louisville has a timeout left, and they're going to take it right now. 12-8 advantage for the Badgers of Wisconsin. There is always time. 
We've seen it in some matches already this tournament. Teams coming back from deficits. 12-8. Seems a little bit scary, but there is time. Jay Demps along with, I think that was uh, Devin Robinson as she went to the sideline. Watch the excitement after this block. There was nowhere to go around it. And you watch Coach Sheffield as she comes off the court. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a good health plan. Don't worry about that. <laughs> That was the 11th block. Match is tied in that category right now. Wisconsin is up their hitting percentage right now, about 45 points higher than Louisville. 236 for the Cardinals, 282 for Wisconsin. And we talk about even in this set, Louisville hitting 045 right now. That's a, that's a big difference. Wisconsin only hitting right around 200, but it's enough. Well, to your point about the 045, 5 of 22 with four errors, an error, hit a ball out of bounds or get blocked straight down, which we saw from Chasse. Again, there's a, two outstanding teams and two more still to come. Remember, you got Jones here on that two, on that combination play. Look for her to come straight down the middle. Timing not there, Barnes is all over it. Inside the block and down, Wisconsin. Two points away from another national final. Jones tips it out of bounds. Match points for Wisconsin. In 2000, the Badgers lost to Nebraska in 2013. Lost to your Nittany Lions in 2019. Lost to Stanford last year. Lost to Texas in the semifinal round. One point away. Jones rattles the ball through. Yeah, no question about that. So one match point is saved. Fourteen to nine. One more match point for Wisconsin. Bartlett on to serve. Smrek in front. No on the slide. Smrek to the floor. A match that we all knew was going to be a battle and come down to the right wire. Wisconsin pulls it off and is going back to the championship match. Well, what a season for Louisville.